how do you get into golf? And if you're interested in starting to play golf, where do you start? Greetings golfers from Duffer Driver here. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to get started in golf. Now, some people have the advantage of having family members or friends who already play golf. Others, we aren't so lucky. Myself, I had no friends or family members that play golf. So I just had to figure stuff out on my own. But don't worry, I'm gonna pass on what I've learned to you so that you can get out on the course. Step one, have someone get you into golf. The easiest way to get into golf is to have a friend or family member just show you the ropes. Let them know that you're thinking of getting into it and they will take it from there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you out on the course. If only it was that easy. I'm gonna show you what to do if you don't have any friends who can show you the ropes. Step two, research. So you wanna get into golf. That's great, but it's time to do some research before we start spending our hard-earned money. At the end of this video, I'm gonna go over how much I spent to start playing golf. So stick around so you have an idea of how much it's gonna cost you. So let's go over what we're gonna to need to research. Public courses. Public courses are a great way to get into golf because they tend to be cheaper. It also frees you up to try out different courses because you aren't stuck just playing the same course over and over again. Check your local area and see how many public courses are around. Rates. You'll also want to get an idea how expensive it is at these courses. Check the rates at your local public course. You'll want to check the rates for 18 holes and for 9 holes. Early mornings tend to be more expensive and afternoon evenings tend to be cheaper. Private courses. Check the private courses in your area. Generally a lot nicer than the public ones, but you'll need a membership and they tend to be pretty pricey. Prices of memberships can sometimes not even be listed on the actual website, so you'll have to contact them to inquire. That usually means it's expensive. Expect to spend thousands of dollars every year for a membership. On the upside, you might meet other members that you can play golf with, and then they can show you step one. Time commitment. Golf takes a lot of time. It's a big time commitment. 18 holes can run you four and a half hours, and that doesn't include driving to the course, getting ready, warming up, chatting afterwards, having a drink. It's basically a full day activity. If you're doing a quick nine holes, that can take two and a half hours. Figure out how much time you're gonna to dedicate to golf during a week. Maybe you're thinking of doing nine holes on the weekend and hitting the driving range once a week. Maybe you wanna play two nine holes during the week and 18 on the weekend. I recommend you start slow, work your way up, but it's helpful to think about this beforehand. Step three, try hitting some balls. All right, now it's time to find a driving range close to you and just start hitting some balls. Now, it's really important to note here that you're probably going to be terrible. You're going to have a hard time hitting the ball, and that's okay. The golf swing is a very complicated thing, but really simple at the same time. You'll know when you start trying to hit a ball. But it's important to know that this is normal. Just try to remember that feeling whenever you hit a good shot. If you really like that feeling, like if it feels really good, you're probably gonna like golf. Now you can go down a rabbit hole on YouTube of instructional videos. You can check out Golf Sidekick, Danny Mode, and like all these other people that'll really show you the specifics and the mechanics of a swing. But when you're just starting out, try to keep it simple. Speaking of, step four, lessons, maybe? So depending on hitting the ball is going for you, you might need some lessons. Now personally, I didn't take any lessons before I went to the course, but my swing was half decent and I can kind of connect with the ball. So I was able to just hack my way to the green. I really think everyone should take a golf lesson at some point, just to make sure that they have a solid base to work from, but it may not be necessary depending on your level. Step five, learn the do's and don'ts of golf. Now this is going to warrant its own video, so please check out my next video on the do's and don'ts of golf. You can find it right here on my channel down below from Duffer to Driver. While you're there, make sure to subscribe. It's completely free and it helps me a lot. For now, just know that there's rules and etiquette of golf that you'll need to know before you make your way on the course that people just assume that you know. So stay tuned for that video. Step six play your first round with rental clubs. So I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you play your first round of golf using rental clubs. It means you have the minimum amount of investment required to see if you even enjoy the game, really. Go to the cheapest course you can find, rent the cheapest clubs you can find, go with some friends if you have any. If you don't have any, that's okay. I'll be your friend. But you'll most likely play with strangers and that's okay. That's part of golf. You're gonna meet new people on the course because you're forced to play with strangers a lot of the time and you're gonna make new golf friends. If you are playing with strangers, introduce yourself. Say it's your very first time golfing and they will most likely be more than happy to help you out. Hopefully after your first nine or 18 holes, you're hooked. Step seven, if you're serious, get your own clubs. Now that you've played around, if you think you wanna keep playing and you're serious about it, look into getting your own clubs. Again, I highly recommend that you get used clubs to start with. You wanna buy used, buy cheap. 
If you later find out golf isn't for you, you can sell these clubs at almost the same price that you purchased them. Now, if you want to buy new, there's nothing wrong with that as well. Just know that new clubs, you're going to be spending thousands of dollars. And then if you decide golf isn't for you, reselling them, you're going to make only half what you put in. Check out one of my last videos of what's inside a high handicap or golf bag so you can see what I carry in my bag. So you can buy an entire bag of clubs, everything you need for like $200. Use Facebook Marketplace or any online reseller to try and find what you're looking for. Everyone's financial situation is different. Can you sit? Can you sit? Stay. Stay there. Step eight, empty your bank account. So golf can get pretty expensive, but it doesn't have to be that way. Now I'm gonna show you how much I spent to get into golf. So golf clubs, golf bag, 150 bucks. Pull cart, 20 bucks. Tees, 10 bucks. Balls, 50 bucks. Proper golf attire, 120 bucks. Golf shoes, on sale, 80 bucks. So that means all my gear just to get started, I spent $430. Playing golf isn't free either, so how much do we spend on that? For me, driving range for practice, $5 for bucket of balls. Putting range for practice is free at the local public course. You just show up and putt, it's great. Now nine holes on my public course after 5 p.m. during the week is like $17. And 18 holes after 3 p.m. is $27. So I'd say these prices are actually pretty on the low side. You can expect some other public courses to go up to $60 and maybe even $100 for a round. If you live near some really nice courses, you might have green fees which are like in the hundreds of dollars. So make sure you do your research. Step nine, become addicted to golf. Congratulations, you are now addicted to golf. You'll get frustrated, you'll spend all your money, you'll have a good time, and everything in between. Golf is such a fun game because it's all on you. It's you versus the course, versus yourself, versus your handicap, versus mother nature. I hope you get out there and make some new golfing friends. And make sure to leave a comment below if you have any advice for any golf newcomers. The golfing season is about to get started here in Canada, so I'm looking forward to get out on the golf course to bring you guys some more videos. I'm from Dufferter Driver, and I'll see you out on the course.